very unusual actually for Belgium to have this strong rain. People even got hurt and, and passed away in this disaster. I think it's also very related to climate change. Disasters like this will only keep happening more and more as we go forward. Last week, there was a very, very heavy rain here in Belgium, but also some neighboring countries like Germany, Luxembourg. And um, yeah, it was very unusual actually for Belgium to have this strong rain because we're not really a tropical country. I know in some countries like South Korea, Taiwan, where I've been before, you have very, very, very strong rains that can go on for days. But here we have a very different climate and we don't have that kind of weather. So when it's rained for many days here, very strong rain, um, there were many rivers and all kind of places that were overflowing. People even got hurt and, and passed away in this disaster. So as for now, I think 31 or 32 people died here in Belgium uh, because yeah, the current must have been very strong and some people also just got surprised about the situation. They didn't expect the rain to uh, go that far, you know. So it's, it's been really, I mean, sad. Today is actually the national day of Belgium. We usually celebrate on the 21st of July, but of course this year I think no one is really in the mood to celebrate anything uh, because of what happened. They're still looking for missing people because there are also some buildings that collapsed, so they have to look through all the rumbles. Um, there's also, they expect that some people might have been taken by the current, so they they didn't find them yet, so yeah, I, it's just really, really sad what happened here. Um, but now, for the past few days, it's the weather conditions are completely okay again. It's very sunny, no more rain, but yeah, I think it will take a while before um, some people and some towns recover from this. So yeah, now you're up to date about what's going on. I really didn't expect that something like this would happen, but at the same time, I think it's also very related to climate change and also the way we completely built so many streets, houses everywhere, and there's not much room left for the water to get away in the ground. So I think disasters like this will only keep happening more and more as we go forward. So I think it's very important that everybody around the world takes this climate crisis seriously. So now you know what's going on in Belgium. My heart completely goes out to all of the victims and their families in Belgium and in all other countries who suffer from um, weather disasters. Um, yeah, I, I just hope that we, we can keep looking for solutions and um, we can stop the climate crisis. But one thing that was very beautiful to see during this whole uh, disaster here was how helpful people were. It's beautiful to see, um, even though this is a very sad day, a very sad national day for Belgium, it's also a day where we can really appreciate how many people support each other and uh, want to be there for each other. So yeah, I just hope things like this don't happen anywhere. I, I really, yeah, it makes me really sad. Um, I just can't even imagine losing someone in this kind of event.